Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. The question is to find out if x is an integer. They have given two statements. The first statement says that x by 3 is not an integer, which means that x by 3 is a decimal value. So let's try a trial and error method. In the place of x, I'm going to substitute a value which is divisible by 3. Let's take 9 now. We are getting the answer as 3, which is an integer. Now let's try and substitute a value which is not divisible by 3. Let's take 10. Now 10 by 3 will give us 3.33, which is a decimal value. Now if you see in both cases, we took an integer, but the answer is either a decimal or an integer. So with this, we cannot conclude if x is an integer or a decimal value. So statement 1 alone is not sufficient to answer this question. Let's move on to statement 2. 3x is an integer. Now let's try an integer value in the place of x. I'm I'm taking 5 which will give us 15 take 21 we are going to get 63 now let's take a decimal value in the place of x let's take 0 0.1 which is going to give us 0 0.3 so taking a decimal value is providing an answer which is also a decimal number. But there is one case where even if we take a decimal value in the place of x, we are going to get an integer value as the answer. That is when you take 1 by 3. 1 by 3 in decimal form is 0 0.33, but we are taking in a fraction form, which will give us the answer as 1, which is an integer. So when a decimal value is substituted in the place of x, we get either an integer or a decimal. So statement 2 also is not sufficient to answer this question. Therefore, both the statements are not sufficient to answer the question. Option D is the right answer.